Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and in this video we will learn about Kirchhoff's current law. This Kirchhoff's current law is also called as the Kirchhoff's point law. This KCL stands for Kirchhoff's current law, KCL. So according to this Kirchhoff's current law, in any electrical network, the algebraic sum of the currents meeting at a point or junction is zero. So here in this figure we can say that here we have considered one point or we can say it to be a node or a junction okay why it is called a junction because various branches are meeting at this point so this is called as a junction here we have assumed that this first branch with resistance r1 has a current of i1 this second branch has a current of i2 but the direction is outward then in the third branch also r3 is the resistance and i3 is coming towards the junction and in the fourth branch the resistance is r4 and the current is going outward from the junction point. So according to Kirchhoff's law, the sum of the currents or the algebraic sum of these currents should be zero. So meaning of this uh, law is when we will add the currents coming into the point, that will be equal to the current leaving the point. Or we can say that if we assume the current coming towards the point, okay or currents entering the junction point is equal to the currents leaving the junction point so here we can write this i1 is coming inside is coming towards the point so we have assumed it to be positive so this current is going outward uh, going in the outward direction from this point so i2 we have to put a negative okay plus so the third part is this current is coming towards the point so it will be positive i3 plus i4 is going outward from the point so it will be negative minus i4 so according to this Kirchhoff's law the current sum of the currents will be equal to zero so from here what we can write so this will be equal to i1 minus i2 plus i3 minus i4 is equal to zero and from this we can write again i1 plus i3 is equal to i2 plus i4 if we take these two currents towards the uh, right hand side of this equation from here what we can say the currents entering the point or the junction is equal to the current leaving the junction so this is as simple as that so this is the Kirchhoff's current law now let us consider some uh, complicated examples okay suppose we have a circuit like this one okay now suppose this branch is coming like this suppose this one is the second branch suppose here we have a third branch here and suppose here we have a fourth branch so here we have considered some practical circuit okay so here we can see suppose this voltage is capital v here we have positive terminal here we have negative terminal suppose from this voltage source there is a current is coming is capital i so this current will enter this point this current will divide into four branches so these are the four branches so suppose here we have this one is the i1 current this one is the i2 current here we have this i3 current and in this fourth branch we have current is i4 this current will flow through this resistance and it will come towards this direction again these two will combine here and the current will flow through this direction and this current will come here and it will flow towards this direction and here also this i1 will come through this resistance and it will come towards this direction here also we'll have some current is capital i because you can see this current is coming through this point and it is dividing into four parts i1 i2 i3 and i4 so according to kirchhoff's law we can say that the total current coming into the junction is equal to the total current living from the junction here the current entering the junction is capital i and current leaving the junctions are i1 i2 i3 and i4 so as per kirchhoff's current law we can write it as i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 and as per the definition of this kirchhoff's current law the algebraic sum of the currents meeting at a point or junction is zero so from this equation we can directly write that i minus i1 minus i2 minus i3 minus i4 this will be equal to zero 
We, here we have considered the current entering a point is to be positive and all the currents leaving the junction i1, i2 and i3 and i4. So these currents will be negative because these currents are leaving the junction point. Okay, this one you can see here. So leaving the point. So this is the Kirchhoff's current law. There is another Kirchhoff's law that is the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Okay, that will be used for finding out the voltage across some resistances or across some uh, points. So if you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.